Hey guys and welcome back here on German Reacts. My name is Leroy and today we are taking a look on baseball again. But this time not on the professional side but on the not so serious side. I want to make this a series uh, for every Sunday if you like. So let me know down below if you would be entertained by uh, this series. I would really like to do it. And let's hop into the video now. Make sure to subscribe if you're new and let's go. In the fifth, an RBI double in the sixth to right. That was not hit hard. I chop off the plate. Dominguez takes a look at Beltre. He's got him in a rundown. And he throws to Altuve. And Altuve will flip to the shortstop, Belmore. <laughs> <laughs> Beltre's going to wind up in Bel Air. And he is out number one with Rios on at first. This Little League moment will continue right after this. Top of the fourth inning here at Target Field this afternoon. Tigers have a four to nothing lead in this one. Now what's going on in the dugout? Some hijinks. <laughs> Don Kelly's foot is on fire. <laughs> sure is Words on fire. By <laughs> oh my goodness, he still doesn't know. That's terrible. Hey, by the way, Don, your foot's on fire. Oh my oh, goodness. Shit. <laughs> Oh, oh shit! Comes back, 92 on the uh -oh. fastball. Dick, somebody got nah, Jerko with the on. old gum and the cup on top of the hat. <laughs> oh, that's the oldest trick in the book. <laughs> that and the old hot foot. You know what the key though is? You got to try to put water in there. So when he tilts his head, water comes out. He's like, "Where's that water coming Man. from?" Man. Ground ball to short. Amarista in between hump. And a one, two, three inning for Kevin Quackenbush. Rich half of the seventh at Petco. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you will not realize until he takes off his head at some point. It's number 13 Man. on the list of rules in the clubhouse. Always well your cup. <laughs> and Jed, Jed Jerko bringing some smiles. <laughs> <laughs> Even pitching coach Darren Mosley likes it. <laughs> Jose Valentin is trying to score two points. Tyler Field in Chicago. David Ortiz leading it off. And a bunt bid. Garcia off the mound to field and throw. And it's time to get Ortiz. This Shift was too was easy. On and David tried to drop down third baseline, but really back towards the mound. And he's out number one. Yeah, Big Poppy making his bid to become the Red Sox leadoff hitter next season. As he tries to drop one down that third baseline, but couldn't get it down the line enough. Right back to Garcia, and Garcia says, Thank you very much. <laughs> this one fouled off, and he and Ozzy had a good time afterwards. Ozzy was all over him. Ooh, okay, okay. That could be Friday as the A's will not have an off day before the A's come to town. Hit well the center. Young is back. He's at the wall and he leaps up and he makes the catch. He had enough time to get back. He timed his jump perfectly. <laughs> he took one back. He pulled out his team. Man, that's a brilliant side of sports. It's not always like the force to win, the pressure. It's always also having fun. That's really important, I think. You go back and you talked about it earlier. This is what it was like. He's going to Mike Avilas. Oh, my goodness. That is outstanding. Yes, he did. I don't know if Andre saw, but he just did. He swings and fouls it back. I think he wanted to go deep. Now the guys in the dugout are catching on. They're all going to the They want to go. They want to see more of this. Look at it. Oh, he's got it going. Look at Avila smiling. He's <laughs> loving it. He's critiquing him is what he's doing right not now. Not quite as good as Mike, but not bad. Well, <laughs> well now he goes there. back to the Kim. <laughs> the man of a thousand stances. Who, who did they used to call uh, the 0-2? Swing a foul. Let's see what he comes up with this time. This is a Trevor Bauer. He's tried those. That's others. Rayburn. He's doing Rayburn. Yeah, he did. Oh, he's imitating like the other players, right? <laughs> Low and, and away. He took it for a ball. He's he's incorporated three different batting stances in this at bat. Well, apparently, uh, the catcher tonight for the Tampa Bay Rays, Jose Molina. There's a guy named Yachty that knows him pretty well. That's his brother. 
Oh, okay. Our guess is he likes cheese crackers because look at this. That's Jose Oquendo going out to coach third base. Left the snack right on home plate for Jose Molina and Yachty just loves it. And my favorite part of it is Jose just looked over at the Cardinals bench Laughed about it. There's the cheese oh, cracker sitting on. right on the plate, and he ends up kind of ultimately picking them up and just putting. He would really put some cheese on the plate. Right oh now. come on! In Jose Molina's back pocket. Welcome back to Bush Stadium. Just moments away from the opening pitch, but about 12 minutes and counting into the standoff between okay. Scott Van Slyke of the Dodgers and Joe Kelly of the Cardinals. Both remaining in their positions from the national anthem, having a major standoff to see who will break first. <laughs> I talked to Don Mattingly to see if the two knew each other, or what, perhaps they had a side bet. And Don Mattingly said to me, and I quote, listen, you can't talk to the guards <laughs> at the Buckingham Palace. Leave them alone. <laughs> We've been watching this now, and, and it continues even as the Cardinals have taken the field on the standoff. It's the three-game fight here. I, I don't believe we'll start the game with this still going on. <laughs> Joe Kelly's got to back down first. He's further out there. Well, I'm still trying to figure out as an analyst, how do you prepare for that? <laughs> what comments do we, what stats do we put to the standoff? You know, there's been, there's been some, <laughs> some, some, some stuff going on that the Dodgers have put a padding helmet on Scott Van Slyke. Joe Kelly. That was a bluff. Now the, <laughs> you know when a stare down, a blink even gets you out of the game. Well, we are just about to Man, that's so nice to see. I think. That they are also having fun a lot. It's not fair, that's really important. On the grass line and one's closer to the but who will win? <laughs> Greg, oh. Greg Gibson. The home plate umpire motioning to both players and the Dodgers celebrating in their dugout. Wow, what a bizarre start to game six. We talk about a lot of really things in bizarre, our production yeah. meetings going into this, but that wasn't on the Boxers. Ah. Marking their turf. Ah, and game Baker on. Responding. Game on. <laughs> We will keep you up to date. You challenge John Baker, and this is what you get. Although, is he using the, the right Count end of the so. U to form the B? He separated the U and the B. That is, that's, that's well done. And doing it, obviously, in reverse. From behind. I don't know if you guys know the uh, show Ink Master, but they also have these flash challenges there where they have to do stuff didn't, like didn't that. Like the way S was laid out. Man, that's cool. That's really cool, actually. Well, no. boys will be boys. A hot foot has been scheduled. Whose cue was that? Oh, that's Scott Van Slyke. Okay. Little does he know. Remember, he got kicked out the other night for arguing about third strike call. We shall await further developments. Oh, it's getting t loose. It's getting oh, loose. Oh, yeah. look out here. It's also dangerous, right? Oh. It's also funny. <laughs> Nada. The whole bench is waiting for Scott Van Slyke. Well, Adrian certainly set it on fire. It took a while before Scotty reacted. And the first thing he does, something smells wrong in here. <laughs> what is it that smells? Is there anything wrong with my hat? There's something rotten in Denmark. What is it? He doesn't realize. Smell? No? Ah, oh. no. <laughs> he found it. So needless to say, the Dodgers are playing pranks. They are not only leading six to nothing, they're well aware the fact as the bench <laughs> breaks up that the Giants are losing at least three nothing. Record, but <laughs> but Tom's got to get a helmet. new lid. I mean, the lid doesn't fit. Every time he swings, puts a lot into it. 
think the problem is how that's far effort, he's trying right? to that's reach right. from his position in the batter's yeah. box. I mean, not, you usually don't get a lot of cheers for a foul ball, but Bartolo does. Well, he's already hit one fair ball today, grounded out to third base. He's very abused by the whole thing. It's the, and it's a tapper back to ball. Yeah, that's what I wanted to say. Like, the ball is going on the deepest lower corners in, on the left. That's hard to hit, I think. But he's close. He's close. He's making it about 78 feet. And then once he gets there, <laughs> it takes a little tail he to the right. even takes his bed. <laughs> and then shuts it down. And ground ball behind the bag at third, but it's foul. They'll <laughs> <laughs> try throw, throw it to Gary Pettis. <laughs> Well, he got to put the pressure on Gary Pettis. Gary didn't want to catch it, but he's got to pick it up now. <laughs> uh, he was not so happy, I think. This man always has fun at the ballpark, cheering on his teammates. He's fun to watch when he's pitching. He's smiling, joking around. He's energy with this club. Like we said, he's really mature. But uh, you're right. I mean... He's all business now when the day he pitches, but he's the number one cheerleader on the other days. <laughs> I think Carlos is pretty concerned that Waka and that right foot may just edge its way. Yeah, right yeah. there. Ah. Edge its way knock over it and knock it over. Uh-huh. There it comes. <laughs> <laughs> Better watch it, Carlos. Oh! Better watch it. <laughs> I didn't make it, okay. Ground ball, Bogarts will go to third and put the tag on Melky Cabrera, and he might have stepped on Cabrera's hand. Then Reyes has given him all kinds of grief. Who taught you how to slide like that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, where did you learn that? And he said, okay, I've had enough of that. Go out into your position and play, and he's like still ribbing him, and Melky says, all right, I've had enough of you. Now get back to shortstop now. Leave me alone. Man, that's nice. <laughs> Cardinals a loose bunch here in game four. <laughs> One of LA's finest. No, no. Hello, Fox Sports. I love you, George. Hey, man. George, I love you. Okay, you got to announce that. You're looking for any reason not to talk to me, aren't you, cuz? <laughs> talk to me, cuz. Talk to me, baby. Give me a hug. Give me a hug. What the fuck? Come on, man. I just take the gravel. I think I'll arch. Let me get out of my chair, Arch. What the fuck is he doing? Gas him! Woo! 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 He's like. He's on drugs or something. Rangers maintaining their 5-3 to three lead. Adrian Belfry after chasing away Elvis Andrews on that pop-up. <laughs> they pretty much have a running, running dialogue the whole game. Yeah. And be, between innings, I don't know what Elvis said to him, but he said something, then ran away. Adrian threw his glove at him between innings, hit him in the back. The umpire just started laughing like crazy out there. Well, who's the second base umpire? Jim Joyce. <laughs> oh, you missed it. He was, just, he was just about ready to fire the glove at him. Watch, here it comes. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that's funny. These clips are hilarious. Yeah, if you guys want a second part, of course, there's a lot of these situations. Oh man, that's, that's hilarious. It's so cool to see that they are having fun at the same time. They are, yeah, not forced, but they are supposed to win. But having fun at the same time is something really important, I think. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like, subscribe for the future if you're new, and peace.